Today, we're cooking up some lamb chops, and not just any lamb chops. We are cooking up some lamb loin chops, or steaks, and they are so tender and juicy, and they're so cute. Take a look at these. These are just adorable. They look like little T-bone steaks, right? And they're so tender. We're gonna season these up with some spices and some olive oil and garlic and lots of good stuff going on there. And then we're gonna barbecue them on the grill. Now you really need to have an instant read thermometer like this to do this recipe really well because this will make your life easier. You'll be very accurate and you won't overcook your lamb chops and that's important. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef junk. All right, here's our first chef joke. Our second one will be a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. All right, what do sheep wear to the beach? A bikini. <laughs> okay, so here's our ingredients. I have my uh, lamb loin chops right here. I have them in a dish so that we can marinate right here in the dish. And I have some garlic. I'm gonna use a little bit of dried oregano right over here. Some pepper, olive oil, some salt some fresh basil, fresh rosemary, and fresh parsley. And here I have some lemon zest. Now I have a video on how I froze it, so that's what this is, this is my leftovers. I'm gonna add that to it. And I'll leave a link for that video in the description. You can check it out. And some lemon juice that I also froze, so it's thawing out right now, so we're gonna use a little bit of that. So we're gonna start with adding some olive oil to our bowl here. This is our marinade bowl, and you're gonna add, I don't know, a quarter, about a quarter of a cup or so, maybe a third. You wanna have enough to marinate all those uh, chops, which is about two pounds worth. To that, I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano. And you can get all the ingredients down in the description of this video. I'm gonna add the garlic to this by using my garlic press, and we're gonna Press all the garlic in here. And I'll add the lemon juice to this. And I'll toss in that lemon zest. This will be about you know, close to you know, what one lemon would give you. Use organic if you can. I'm gonna add a bit of salt to this and some pepper we'll crack in some pepper there and now we're going to add some of our fresh rosemary if you don't have fresh you can certainly use dried but fresh is way better in my opinion so you just want to pull those little petals off just like that and you always use a little bit more fresh than you do dried dried is a little more powerful a little more concentrated and we'll chop that up Once the rosemary is finely chopped like this, then we'll just add that to the bowl. So next is our basil. I'm just taking the leaves, stacking them up on top of each other like this. It just makes it easier to cut up. And then you roll it like a little cigar or whatever and chop away. I find I, I like to use a lot of basil. It just never seems to overpower. And then I'll just toss that in. And last but not least is our uh, fresh parsley. So I'm just gonna shave off a few leaves. Like that. There's a bad one. Of course, you don't want all the stems, so you can get rid of some of the big stems. Chop that up. And toss that right into the bowl. Give it a stir. And then we're gonna brush this over, over the chops. Now we'll just take our brush and we're gonna just brush this right over the top. Look at that. And we're, like I said earlier, we're gonna let this marinate for one, at least one hour. I'll cover it and put it in the fridge. And then we'll go head out to the barbecue grill and grill these up. Now you wanna turn these over and certainly wanna do both sides. And I did want to mention that I didn't show you because I want to salt these on the second side just a little bit more because what I put in the sauce in the marinade wasn't enough salt. So 
so give them a little more. And if you want to put a little more pepper, you can too. Okay, and then I'll finish marinating the second side. And I'll cover it with some saran wrap before I put it in the fridge. So you want to preheat your grill to medium high and just place those chops right on there. And you want to cook these until an internal temperature of 135. Please don't overcook them. You want them to be nice and tender. And I will check them in about five minutes. It's been about five minutes, so let's check and see how these are doing. Uh, look at those nice grill marks. So we'll go ahead and check the internal temperature uh, on these in about five minutes with the instant read thermometer. All right, I think we're all done here. Let's check the temperature and take these off if it's good. Uh, don't these look wonderful? All right, they're done. 10 minutes on the grill, that's all it took. You don't want to overcook them. Make sure you use your instant read thermometer. All right, I'm gonna cut into one of these here and uh, take a bite. Nice and tender. Smells amazing. Mm. These are so delicious. You've got the hint of that lemon with that lemon zest in there the rosemary, the garlic, all of it together. So flavorful, so tender, so juicy. You're gonna love it. You know what side dish would go great with this, and I do this all the time, is I make my roasted potato recipe that's cooked in the Instant Pot, and then we brown them up for a few minutes on the stove in a frying pan. Delicious with this recipe, guys, you'll love it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by smashing the like button. And if you'd like to chat, leave me a comment down below. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.